What happens if you need more than 12 volts for your computer power supply? Like this one right here. Well, I'll show you. Hi, I'm Tom Kovichak, and this is Tom's Trains and Things. This channel was created to help other modelers who are in need of guidance in pursuing their dream of building a model railroad. Yes, and you're going to need some power, maybe from a computer power supply like this, on your model railroad. Well, sometimes you might need more than 3.3, 5, or 12 volts, or somewhere in between there. Well, I'm going to show you how you can do that with a simple boost converter. A few years ago, I showed you how to convert a computer power supply, this one right here, and trim all the wires, take all the connectors off, and put a terminal board on there like that. And you can see it in the info card right up here. This is all the components that we're going to be working with today. This is a breakout board for the ATX 20 or 24 plug that comes on a computer power supply. This right here is a boost buck converter. We have a breadboard here. So I could jump from back and forth here and I have my DCC++ station right here using a Arduino Mega and a Palulu Motor Shield. The breakout board module for this project is a Electronic Salon 2420 pin ATX DC power supply breakout board module which can be purchased at Amazon through my Amazon page. And the other item the boost converter unfortunately is no longer available but you could find additional boost converters that are similar to this and what i have is the 8 volt to 16 volt on the input and 12 volt to 60 volt on the output on this demonstration i'm using a breakout board just to make it a little bit easier to check the voltage on the output of the booster so i could put my probes over here and then when I have the track hooked up, I could hook it up to the program track on these two right here and on the op track on these two terminals right here. I got the meter set up over here and let me put some power onto this and I'll show you how to adjust this. And all you're gonna need is a small common screwdriver like that. To adjust on this screw right here and I'm not gonna gonna try not to get in the way but on this breakout board you can see there's a push button on there and when you hit the push button boom that turns it on and it shows you your output and let me put this on the right scale here it's on the DC scale right now it says 17.9 I'm gonna put this over here out of the way of my arm so you can see it you could adjust this screw and see the output voltage go down and go clockwise and the output voltage goes up. It will go up if I keep on turning it, it'll keep on going all the way up to 60 volts. But I wanna keep it around 18 volts. So let's get it down as close as we can to about 18 volts, a little bit further. And there we have like 18.01, which is really, really close to what we want to do. You can see more information on this power supply right here and the boost converter in a video that I did about six months ago on that info card. All I have to do now is hook up my Palulu on those pins right there and will be good to go so you can see the light came on the palulu and i don't have anything on the arduino mega right now i have to plug that in so let me get the meter out of the way here and plug the arduino mega in all right so just so you can see the lights on in there you can see that that light on in there so now we have power to the arduino mega and we have power to the palulu and right now 
I have these jumpers on over here, which is on the program track right now, which this is the program track. And this is the operational track. So let me set this up with a short track on here and we'll be able to program and run our locomotive. This USB cable that I attached right here goes to my laptop where I have JMRI on. So let's get started with this right now. Let's pull up a throttle, new throttle, new throttle, and we'll put in 7085 which is going to be the locomotive that I hook up. Okay, now we'll have to go into roster and you can see 7085 up here. Let's see if we can program something on here now. So we'll hit this right here and we'll bring this up. As you can see, this is an economy decoder with no sound on it so there is hardly anything on here you can see the road number 7085 it's already pro i already programmed it into there but we're going to just change something on the motor so i got uh, acceleration up to four right now we'll change that down to three okay and then we'll write changes on sheet boom and it it took it so we know that that works we'll come over here We'll see it is stored right there. And what we'll do is close this out. It has to close it. All right, then we can move this thing over onto the other terminals here. And move us from the, the program track to the ops track. Okay, now we have it set up for the operations track. So let's try this out right here. All right, first thing we'll do is turn the light on. You can see the light goes on and off. <sighs> we got this in forward, so we just have a short track here. So hopefully I don't run over it. Put it in reverse. Put it in forward. That's all there is to it. We have it programmed. We know that it programs it. We know that it's on the ops track. It runs. Uh, we got 18 volts on the Palulu. We got our computer hooked up to the Mega and we're good to go. We use the boost converter on there and we use the breakout board for the ATX 20 in plug on the, the power supply. So that's all there is to it. If you want to change the output voltage on your power supply just get a boost converter you could even get a drop down converter if you want to go below 12 say like you want to go in between 5 and 12 volts you want to get 9 volts in there you could either do do, do a boost converter from 5 volts up to 9 or you could do a drop down from 12 down to 9 it's that simple so until the next time We'll see ya. What happens if you need an additional, what happens if you need more voltage for your computer power supply like this one here? Let's start this up. What happens if you need more voltage for your computer power supply right here?